Hi, I'm Dr. Jerry Jackson, out with the wild things. One of the most common, beautiful, and easily seen of Florida butterflies is the white peacock, a butterfly with us year-round. The white peacock is a fast flyer but stays close to the ground, makes frequent stops for nectar, and generally remains within a small area. This butterfly has wings that are white to grayish with a distinct border of orange around the edges, brown to light orange tinted wave-like patterns of markings along its front wings seem to be cascading back from each wing's leading edge and are followed by delicate broken squiggles as if the waves were breaking and flowing up a beach. An intricate border of two to three blackish brown lines follows the contour of the trailing edge of its wings with the spaces between the parallel lines tinted with orange and brown. A prominent black spot on each front wing and two more, slightly smaller black spots are lined up about a third of the way from the edge of each wing. It's the beautiful and intricate pattern and colors of the wings and those six eye-like spots, each about the size of one of its real eyes, that led this butterfly's common name to be the white peacock. With the white peacock is a butterfly of the sunshine, appropriate for the sunshine state, but found across the deep south to west Texas, occasionally ranging to North Carolina and the southern Midwest, Arizona, and Utah. It is also found throughout the Caribbean, Central and South America, south to Argentina. Wherever found, it lives in the open and is especially prominent at the edges of streams, ponds, lakes, roadside ditches, and in parks and backyards with lots of sunshine and diverse flowering plants. The distribution of this butterfly with white wings that are intricately marked with brown and orange reflects the distribution of its food plants. Adult white peacock butterflies feed at a diversity of flowers, but are especially fond of the small daisy-like flowers of bidens, sometimes known as Spanish needles or devil's pitchfork. But for laying their eggs and success of their caterpillars, they must also have the low-growing matchstick head-sized white-petaled purple-centered flowers of frog fruit, the tiny blue flowers of water hyssop, the blue flowers of wild petunia, or less commonly, a relative of these plants. Males and females of the butterfly known as the white peacock are similar in color and pattern. White wings, trimmed with orange and brown, and with white to buff colored tips to their antennae. Adult female white peacock butterflies are noticeably larger than males. Males tend to have a slightly more slender abdomen. Males are highly territorial, defending patches of plants such as frog fruit, water hyssop, or wild petunia, the leaves of which white peacock butterfly caterpillars feed on. Once a male has selected a territory, he vigorously chases other males away and begins soliciting passing females. A female may have some choice in the matter, selecting a male with the best food supply for her young. After mating, a female lays her eggs on leaves of those food plants. The eggs hatch into tiny black caterpillars that have a generous but scattered array of branching black spines, perhaps deterring some caterpillar predators or parasites, but harmless to humans. As each caterpillar grows, orange spots appear on its body. When fully developed, the caterpillar forms a smooth green chrysalis attached to a leaf underside. Once the metamorphosis of the caterpillar is completed, the chrysalis opens and a new adult white peacock emerges to dry its wings and flutter away. The white peacock butterfly, with its white to gray wings and intricate brown and orange markings, may only be a little over an inch long with wings that spread to a little over two inches, but it is capable of traveling long distances. The white peacock's daily activities begin as the sun warms the land and is greatest by late morning. As temperatures rise even more, or when the wind picks up and during rain, it moves to shade, often at a forest edge, or at least to near surrounding trees and shrubs where it finds shelter. The white peacock is prolific as a species, producing several broods of young in a year. When those young emerge and begin searching for food and a mate, they often extend their species range into areas where they can breed, but where winters are harsher and they cannot survive. This is a tropical butterfly, and expansion from the deep south into more northern areas is new each year. As climate warms, however, these butterflies will be able to quickly establish more permanent populations. This butterfly has benefited from many human changes to the natural world. The white peacock butterfly has six black spots on its wings, one on each front wing, 
two on each hind wing, lined up on each side about a third of the way from the outer edge. These are called eye spots that may fool a bird or potentially another predator into thinking that they are eyes, eyes that are watching. Eyes that have targeted might allow a quick capture. As time passes, the clean contours and bright colors of a white peacock begin to look ragged and faded, and many white peacocks can be seen with small pie slices torn from the edges of their wings. Often one or more black spots are missing. The V-like tear is the result of an attack by a bird attempting to capture the butterfly. The real eyes and the power of those wings are forward from the eye spots, and each V provides evidence of its escape from a bad encounter. There are, of course, other predators and other means of capturing a meal. Large orb-weaving spiders use a sticky web that can capture anything that flies into it, and eye spots are of no value as a defense from them. Spiders, however, generally are small in spring, growing larger by fall, and so the threat from large webs is seasonally limited, and so too is the white peacock's lifespan. With the Wild Things is produced at the Whitaker Center and the College of Arts and Sciences at Florida Gulf Coast University. For the Wild Things, I'm Dr. Jerry Jackson.